Good evening. This is no man. Uh, Tecmos, whatever, you know. I, uh, I've left Crystal Caverns behind. Uh, got a couple of charisma upgrades. Picked up my spells for 44. And, uh, I was gonna do my coin of Tosh quest for my level 44 Tashan spell, but since there's an XP bonus active, I figured I might as well be out leveling instead of uh, doing a quest running around the world twice. So, you see I'm in the mines of Nerga. I um, was planning on heading into Kazora and uh, XPing down by uh, Zelgaz while I get my Howling Stone piece and get some of that sweet, sweet zone experience modifier that's in there. But on my way there, I passed through Frontier Mountains and realized, oh, here's two zones that I could probably do that um, if I don't do now, I might be too high for them. So, uh, I stopped off here, I found myself outside, and I figured I'll uh, check out Nerga, and uh, maybe Droga, and um, you know, just run through them once, kill a few things here or there, make a pretty quick video. Um, I actually kind of didn't want to leave Crystal Caverns. Um, I seem to have settled into like a routine where every spot I go to to do a video when I start off there and I'm not familiar with it, I'm kind of grumpy and I die a few times and I don't know what's going on and I don't like it. But then after I spend several hours and a couple levels there, I settle into a groove and I don't want to leave. But I tore myself away. And, uh, so the entrance to this zone is in Frontier Mountains on the southern edge. And uh, it's a one-way entrance, I believe. I think there's like a drop down in here. There's a drop down over here, and once you go down, you, you have to run all the way around, and then you end up coming up here, I believe, and you can drop down and get out. But there's not a quick way back out. Oh, cool. Very shallow pool at the bottom, apparently. I don't know exactly what level of stuff is in here, if it's going to be... Uh, yeah, well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping that there wasn't going to be much that's green. Um, I think basically anything, anything from level 30 to 40 is still going to be XP for me. Um, so I'm just gonna... I'll probably scout around a little bit, see if there's an area that has all blues or something. I don't know if there's named mobs in here, I don't really know anything about this zone, so... Uh, poke around for a half hour or something like that and call it a good short video. Maybe do the same thing in Droga and then go to Kesara after I hit like 42 or something. I don't relish the idea of fighting Zelgaz at 41 or 42 because he's a necro and he's level 40. It's kind of nasty. Um, but if I wait any longer than that, I'll start to not get XP for the stuff that's around him, I think. As you see, I've got a Rod of Insidious Glamour now, so you don't have to see me um, telescoping all the time while I'm <laughs> trying to cast spells. Uh, Brain, feed, brain Freeze has watched some of my videos, I guess, and uh, helped me out getting the, um, ooh, that's a lot of particle effects, helped me out getting the rod, because he, I, I tried to, after we were having trouble doing the quest, he decided, oh, here, just let me give you mine, and I'll get another one. I said, no, no, that's all right, I'll, I've been fine without it this far, I don't need one. And he said, no, it's, it's as much for my benefit as yours, I'm sick of seeing you zooming all the time when you're on your videos, so... <laughs> now he's just going to see, he's not going to be able to see shit because there's going to be particle effects all over the place every time I spam a cookie. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to run around in here and show you a little bit of the zone. I guess there's two different sections in here. I've only ever, I kind of like the like the architecture in this zone, the fact that you're in like a, a mine. You know, I don't know why the goblins are all hanging out here with weapons. Like, are they mining? Are they guards for some unknown slaves that aren't here. Uh, maybe there are slaves in the zone and I just haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, kind of cool. Mine, uh, there's a mix of different NPCs, casters, um, melee and everything that I recall. Oh, okay, so there are slaves. That makes sense. Get double duty out of a goblin magician slave. He can make him summon an earth pet. I'm going to look at a map quick and see which way I want to go here. I wonder if I just want to start fighting. I 
I think I'm going to make my way towards the Bernai area of these tunnels while killing some stuff along the way, just to see like what level this stuff is and uh, size it up a little bit. I'll come fight these three mobs that were right back here. <coughs> You'll have to forgive my coughing since I still haven't figured out my stupid mute toggle button. Oops, didn't even notice that guy there. actually. <laughs> oh well. It is nice to not be zoomed all the time, even if uh, it's going to take some getting used to. Shadow Knight? Yep. Well, that's a pain in the butt. I really don't like fighting Shadow Knights because they disease cloud everything. So it's really hard to obviously um, you know, mez at all. Not that I do a lot of mezzing, but sometimes it's nice to be able to. My cat's coming to visit me. Been out of town all week. I uh, XP'd on my crappy laptop on my wife's family's Wi-Fi. Hello. <laughs> I guess this room's respawning because this shit was not here. Uh, when I first came into the room. Well, I kind of got a lot of hit points. This guy was going to die to my Chaos Flux. Get nuked up a little bit, but I'm kind of buffed. I, uh, Briscoe ported me over here, and when he did so, he gave me protection of the blade, so. Oh, that doesn't actually have hit point regen on it, though, does it? So, I, uh, not too well served by it, but. Hey, I got my troll form, right? Holy cow. So apparently there's lots of spawns right here that uh, just repopping on me. I bet that rock chanter's an enchanter. I hate fighting against enchanters because they dispel everything. I don't get swarmed by respawns here. There was a 40 enchanter in the zone when I came in and bound myself earlier, so maybe that's... Oh, God, please don't dispel my pet. I should have charmed the enchanter so that I can make it sit, you know, anytime it starts casting a, um, a dispel. Uh, or just let it cast its dispels, because fuck, it's... Holy Might, so I guess it's not an enchanter. Apparently it's a cleric. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to, yeah, it's a cleric. I'm going to have to um, get up my resist magic, recast, oh no, I recast magic. Try to not get myself killed in here on what's just supposed to be a short little video. Hopefully. Oh, come on, buddy. You got enough mana to blast me, but you couldn't have used it on that cleric, eh? Uh, 
Let's go, Spice. See that I moved forward there. The cleric landed a nuke on me, which knocked me back a tiny little bit, but it was such a small amount that I was able to just jump forward a step. And uh, spells will complete any time you're basically in the same location when the spell finishes casting is when it began. So like on red, people have these, you know, these, like, corner casting, back themselves into a corner, and they'll start a long cast time, and then they'll run around like an innie. Ooh, you can't melee me when I'm moving around. And as long as they end back in the corner where they started, when the spell finishes, the spell is still cast, even though you traveled a long ways in the meantime. Um, so that's what I did there to get my spell to channel through even though I got pushed back by that new... Yeah, I can tell I'm not going to be terribly excited to stay in this zone for very long. Dots. Dispels. <laughs> kind of like uh, Dalnir, except mines and goblins instead of dudes coerced by the Cly and uh, dungeon. Temple, whatever. Boil blood's fairly nasty. It's going to eat up a few hundred hit points. Um, ignore his runes, of course, which is super annoying get my resist magic up and then uh, proceed with some more killing I might just hang out here and kill a little bit I'm not uh, I really want to get my hit points back up before I venture down any farther and then um, I'll go check out the Bernai area too because I've never really explored the zone well I have explored the zone but it, I don't really remember it I might as well show it on the video Oops. so this experience bonus seems pretty nice um, I'm really itching. I'm really starting to get an itch to be higher level. Um, chanters especially just are so much more capable at higher levels than at lower. And not that my character isn't doing pretty well right now. Um, although it'll be nice to be able to go kill some stuff that I can make money with and uh, start re-equipping myself decently. It's really driving me nuts that I have to rely on bandaging and troll form to heal. It'd be great if I could just afford a, just for emergencies even, some shaman potions to heal and cure disease and poison with and stuff like that. Um, I guess I'm probably about the right level that I could go to Droga and try to kill bodyguards and the other names that are over there, but um, I wouldn't be able to hold down the whole bodyguard area. Uh, and I, people might be bitchy and grumpy with me if I, you know, we're in there trying to XP there, but I'm not able to keep the whole camp cleared, so I won't, I won't piss around with that. I don't need to start any drama. I'll be able to do plenty of drama when people annoy me and I'm higher level, and, uh, enchanters are pretty good at... Aggro ranges are short here. I feel like the Geonids in Valius would, like, aggro me from, like, a mile away. Uh, even if I was just standing there. Uh, I felt like I was pretty close to that goblin. He wasn't coming at me. Uh, I'll just chill for a second and met up a little bit more. I want to be a little careful since I don't know my way too well. and I haven't even noticed what level this stuff is yet. Low 30s, probably. been getting quite a few views on YouTube, relatively speaking. I'm enjoying it. Check my little analytics page and see all the uh, the stats on how many people are watching and how long the average view is and everything. The, uh, and then not surprisingly, my initial... What the heck? Uh, maybe as a troll, my depth perception is just messed up because I felt like I was really close to that dude, but I was out of spell range. Um, my, like, No Man's intro to videos was not very well received, I guess. It's got a lot of views, but the people who have watched it have spent, like, very little time watching it. Uh, but my newer videos have been have getting more attention and longer view time, so that's cool. At least people are sticking around and watching them. I'm not going to be able to get this. Oh. Disease cloud. Awesome. Now that's the price you pay for uh, sending a little squishy guy in to get harm touched. 
but at least, you know, letting something die like that hardly cost me anything. You know, I used one spell to charm him, and uh, not much mana cost invested there, And but it lets me tackle a room to start off with that would have been kind of nasty, potentially to break up if I uh, get a resist on my way in or something. I always like going into a room that I'm trying to break with a pet charmed already. So that way, if nothing else, if a lull fails or anything too nasty happens, you know, I can always just, um, you know, the pet takes up, soaks up hits, he can eat a harm touch, he can, um, buy me a little time to work with. Seems pretty nice in here. I still, well, I still forgot to stand close enough to see what level stuff is, but um, getting like two percent per—that's about what I've been getting since I, I got out of level forty, hell level. Hmm. But yeah, definitely itching to get higher level. Um, I'll, I'll try this. I'll, I'll do at least a short video here, a short video in Droga. Um, I'll spend some time in Kesora because I need to get my Howling Stones key. Um, and I think it'll be an awesome XP down there. Um, where else do I really want to go? I mean, as, as you get higher level in the Classic and Kunark zones, I've spent quite a bit more time, you know, because your leveling slows down, especially once you get above 50. So you spend more time in zones than you did in any given zone when you were low level. So, you know, I've spent a lot of time in Lower Guck, although not on the live side, except for the King Room. Um, a lot of time in, uh, you know, basically all the 50 plus dungeons, except for the Valley's ones. So, um, I'll probably be in all of them a little bit just to make a video for everyone, and I'll probably settle into my favorite spots, Howling Stones. Um, once, once I'm like 52, probably. Um, but I'll probably start getting in the mood to try and find loot, like I said, so that I can afford more than my minimal uh, minimal gear that I have right now. And handouts from uh, kind viewers. Oh, this might get me harm touched. I didn't think about that. Oh, getting him solo. I thought there was a Shadow Knight back here. Wow! Is that that looks like such a short distance to me? Maybe it's just a perspective thing, but I feel like like where I was in Velius, those those mobs would have all angled. I'm gonna do my best to save my pet this time, so I can get some full XP for him. No, I kind of like the zone. I feel like because of the Shadow Knights, fights go really fast because the that harm touch right at the start really speeds things up. So when you can deal with a few of them at once, yeah, there's a little risk to yourself, but um, it definitely makes for some. Oh crap! I don't want to get all dotted up. See, so I'm going to cancel this heat blood here by charming him, which is nice. I don't know if those guys are close enough. That they'll melee. I guess not. Just have to wait for my pet to. There we go. I feel like this would be a another nice dungeon for grouping. You know, you got enough room to move around. It's not too cramped, uh, not too crowded with mobs. At least based on this little room we've been in here so far. You know, and with a with a balanced group, you'd have cures and uh, heals and buffs. So a puller, you'd be able to find a spot to set up, I'm sure, and then pull and, and not have much risk as long as you don't do anything crazy or uh, <laughs> grow something that runs around some crazy route. Although, I, maybe that wouldn't even be a problem anymore because of the way you know assist aggro works and everything now. Break and Viz here and 
when this uh, Moss Trooper gets below 10% so I can finish him off easy and cheap. the zone. I mean, it's always annoying to deal with casters, dispel and whatnot, but, but the zone as a whole is sweet. And, uh, fights are going nice and quick. Alright, so I'm gonna, I've am gonna i got a map pulled up here and I'm going to look at it. Uh, fought enough in this spot. I'm trying to make this video quick after all. I'm already 20 minutes, so <laughs> it's much going to be longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's what happens. I'm going to try and make my way around towards the Bernai area maybe kill some more goblins on the way and uh, go beat up on those little badger dudes too because why not I think I can creep along these edges and uh, these tunnels kind of loop around oh, it's a drop down lots of drop downs in this place apparently Double check my map, make sure I'm not sending myself into a bad spot. I wonder if I can go across this. wears off, fall down into the room full of guys. Ah, I did fall down. Oh well. You know, now that I am running around here more, I have spent in this zone more than I thought I was. I don't remember what characters I leveled in here, but it looks all, all of it looks very familiar, and I know I've killed stuff in here before. I don't know if I tried to farm faction with one of my enchanters, or if I leveled an alt in here or something. Uh, I I think that if I go this way, it leads me over to the other area of the dungeon. No, oh, there goes my spirit wolf. Yeah, there's definitely not a lot of mobs in here, eh? It's, uh, quite open. Now I have no idea where I am. I'm going to get my location to check it out. And I went the wrong direction. <coughs> Excuse me. But since I am at full mana. Don't want to let my clarity and my protection of the glades go to waste. almost as hard as I do. 
it's also going to heal itself as soon as I break charm, so I'll probably let him get low and mez him and then just blast him with an anarchy to make sure he uh, dies. I can probably resist all of his, not this one, but his magic spells anyways, since he, um, almost a hundred magic resist with my, uh, buffs and everything. Interrupt his spell. I wonder what keeps interrupting his casts. Like he was trying to, like, root me or something. And it said that his cast was interrupted, but I didn't nuke him or push him or anything. Oh, I bet it was the... You know, I've, I'm sure if you've been watching my videos at all, or if you're playing and using roots, you, you notice how NPCs have a bit of a tendency to act like they want to flee when they're rooted, even though... Uh, when they're rooted and low on life, when they would normally try to flee, even if they're rooted. They'll kind of turn around and act like they're going to run. If you go close to them, they still are going to hit you. If a pet's there, they're still meleeing. They'll still cast and all that stuff. But it looks like they're trying to run. I wonder if him trying to start running, even though he was rooted, caused his spell to be interrupted right here. Because he definitely was rooted. He definitely was trying to cast on me, and he didn't move or anything, and all of a sudden his spell was just interrupted as he turned to move away from me. It happened twice, I think. No, no, but I nuked the other ones to interrupt, so... Well, oh well. If I notice it too much more, I'll bug report it. So now I need to run this other direction, because I came the wrong way to try to... F oh, I'm encumbered already. I need tinkerer's bags. That's the thing I miss the most about having money, is that I don't have 30,000 flat worth of bags so that I can carry around all kinds of crap without being overweight. I have to go up on the top here and around the edge, and that'll lead me over to the burn eye area, and I'll kill a few of those badgers just to see them die, and then I'll call it good for this short video, medium length video. Eventually I hope to make videos that are actually short, you know. Like maybe I'll run, oh hey, it's a name, and he's low level, and he doesn't drop shit, I don't think. Something for an XR quest. Um, so eventually I hope to, I'll probably just keep like my video running all the time, and whenever I'm playing, even if I'm not planning on uploading it. And then I'll catch awesome fights here or there, or, you know, fun drama, or something. And then I can put up like little five or ten minute videos more often that are, um, I didn't know there were spiders back here. Um, that'll be a little easier to watch in a sitting, so that, you know, uh, you don't have to sit around and watch for 40 minutes or, you know, an hour to see everything that's going on in my inventor. Season biz. Well, I feel obliged to kill the spider that season biz. Which is both of them. I didn't see these. I didn't see spiders on the list of NPCs. Oh yeah, I guess they're on there. I just wasn't paying attention. It is kind of nice not being zoomed in all the time when I'm uh, casting spells, isn't it? Thanks, Brain Freeze. And kind of you're welcome, too, I guess. Now you don't have to watch my videos of annoying telescope effects all over the place. Oh, no friends. Oops, because this is the wrong computer. My laptop has him friended. Oh, I don't remember his shaman's name, though. Well, maybe. 
you know, have been posting on the forums that I don't understand. Level 30 to 40 <laughs> max hits, but come look to see it, get a guess anyways. 77, so they're low 30s, maybe mid 30s, like 34, 35. So much room to work with. I, um, I think part of what got me settled into Crystal Cavern so much and I didn't want to leave is just how simple it was to kill all those Geonids up and down that hallway without ever getting ads. And it was pretty easy to fight three at once if I wanted to, to speed things up a little instead of just two. And, um, I feel like I was used to seeing dungeons a lot more packed in. It wasn't so easy to fight like that, but um, this one's just as open. You know, there's lots of room in here. There were even even the spots where there were more goblins uh, in one room. Uh, still had plenty of room to move around, and there were hallways on one side or the other. Uh, corpse probably popped up into the sky. There were um, hallways behind and in front of you know, the spawns that didn't have anything in them, so you had room to work with to pull in. I come across anything else that I wasn't expecting to see that I feel obliged to kill. I guess there are technically names in here. A couple, anyways. They don't really seem like they drop anything noteworthy. this video for, so I'm going to keep moving, try to finish it up here. I'm even missing greater shielding. I'm going to ignore it and just soldier on. loops around down to, oh well, I can do without greater shielding when I've got other buffs, but since I need the new clarity anyways, I might as well. The Cenobites, uh, the Bernai and the other whatnot should be down here. Not much fun. I don't know if I really expect that people are going to watch these videos and see these zones and decide, hey, that's that looks cool, let's go level there next time we're doing something. I kind of hope so. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work out that way, but that was about half of what I was making these videos for, figuring I'd show places that don't get a lot of attention that are down in the you know depths of a dungeon. Um, I'll try to do it. I decided, realized, whatever, that I would try to do it even after I get 50 plus, you know, like, uh, sure, everybody knows Carner's Castle, anybody who's had been 50-plus. But, uh, you know, I wonder how many people really know the zone well, know their way around the back corridors, know their area down near uh, VS, other than just to show up and kill him for a raid, you know, uh, know the different spots you can pull to and fight when you're solo that are too small for a group to fit into, and how many, you know, people just are used to sitting in a camp while a puller runs around and does everything. So, uh, you know, even a place like that where a lot of people are more familiar with the zone, I'll still run around in there and show you where I would solo and see if you can uh, see a video of me sniping a 
T staff or something fun like that. It's happened before. <laughs> so maybe. I uh, I leveled Tecmos in left courtyard, in the back of left courtyard, um, on and off when I was bored of other zones. And I never got a T-staff when I was leveling up, but I did I did snipe a T-staff from a group in left courtyard that uh, was had its hands full with, uh, I don't know what else they pulled, if they pulled something else or if they were just, got trained or what, but uh, there was a warlord standing there with a staff and I think there was another mob in his room too, so I pulled him up the little stairway that I like to fight in and got the hell out of there before somebody started complaining. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if... Those guys aren't named, but... Huh. Alright. I'm gonna kill these dudes. Maybe. They're probably annoying to kill because they're clerics. So I'm going to remez this one on the right so that he doesn't start to nuke me as soon as his mez wears off. Sick the other one on him, and then once the other one's on him, then I know I can mez uh, med happily. Little badger monsters. Gotta love the uh, design of these classic EQ zones. <laughs> it's trying to stun me. Oh, don't dispel my root. Dirty little guy. Looks like we're far enough away that we're not gonna... These are gonna take forever to kill each other. Especially because the one's going to start healing when he gets low. These are again mid-30 level. Uh, pretty similar to the stuff I was fighting fighting in Crystal Caverns. A little lower than the max that the Geonids and the Stalags could be. My cat's back. That would have been fun. Although I guess I'm dubious with everything until these two start chasing along. Okay, so what I'm going to do is root him again. Get ready to kill my pet after it gets smacked one more time. Two more times. Sit down, Capone. God damn it. Oh, good lord. I've got a lot of nuking to do on this fella. Holy cow. Well, this is going to be the end of my movie because I'm not going to want to med back up after I use all my mana to kill this stupid cleric. What was that? Oh. I got rooted and lost my illusion at the same time. Anyway. So, this was a brief trip through the mines of Nurga. Pretty cool looking zone. I like it. I uh, slightly regret that I... Uh, a little too high for it. Although I guess most everything in here was blue. Uh, blue. Got a few other places I need to be though, so I'm probably not going to stick around here. Maybe I'll stay and maybe I'll make 42 and then go into Droga. And then make 43 and go to Kesra after that. Uh, we'll see. But, pretty cool zone. Uh, I tried to keep the video a little shorter so you guys don't have <laughs> to, just to sit for a long time to see the whole thing, but it didn't really work out. So uh, I'll make uh, another video for Droga eh, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to be out of town again over the weekend for 4th of July, so maybe tomorrow I'll try to uh, get 42 and, and go visit Droga and make a video over there. Maybe even catch a named or something get somebody, some farmer pissed off that I'm 
only killing a few of the mobs that he's interested in, but won't give him the camp. So uh, we'll see about that tomorrow.